Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Gifted Monkey TV, all things toy and toy related. I'm your host, Jordan Preston. When we come back, we're going to take a look at an action figure from the folks at Hot Toys based on the blockbuster movie Batman v Superman, a figure that's sure to win his fight for a prime space in your collection. Respect the monkey! All right, guys, and keeping with the promise of the awesomeness, here we are with the Man of Steel himself, Superman action figure from Hot Toys, based on that movie, Batman v Superman. Let's take a look at this box before we get things started. Right off, we see right now, it's a very simple and elegant box. It's uniquely styled, just nice and streamlined, a slightly raised uh, emblem of Superman, and it says Superman across the front. On the bottom, you see Hot Toys movie masterpiece. You see the Batman v Superman logo from the movie. And inside this blue here, you see actual pictures of uh, what they deem the Daily Planet and um, Metropolis right in there. So that's very cool. Nice bluish gray at atmosphere. On the side, you see this is Batman Superman. And on the back here, it's got all types of indicia from Hot Toys and Warner Brothers and DC and stuff like that. On the top, it has their logo for Batman v Superman. And on the bottom, it's just that. When we crack this box open, it has a nice, just almost like a shoebox type opening, but it's slanted downward like that. Look at that. So it's like a shoebox type opening. See that? And we see the inner sleeve. That's where all the indicia comes in of who sculpted this, who produced this, who made this. It says Superman. There's a nice picture there of the figure itself right there. Love it. And we take this out. And there we have the action figure. Henry Cavill as Superman. The one-six scale action figure. So let's take a minute and we'll come back and we'll crack this puppy open. All right. Well, Superman didn't come with a lot of accessories, but he came with some pretty cool stuff. He came with one, two, three, four sets of hands. The other set of hands is a set of fists, which are on him, and it comes standard already on the figure, which I didn't show here, but you'll see them on the figure in a moment. He comes with these nice, articulated, outreached, stretched hands, a pair of these. Great sculpting on these hands. Look at that. The veins going right through the fingers. Really nice work on these hands. Really nice. The right and left of that. He comes with, uh, I guess what you would call, for lack of anything else, flying hands. They don't look exactly like in a flying pose, because usually flying poses are more closed like that. But his thumb is extended out like that. But I guess that's what they would use as a flying pose right there. Two of those. And he comes with these two hands that almost look like they're grasping something. Or they're getting ready to strangle Batman. <laughs> like that. They, they look very cool. They're kind of like a, a nice reposed hand. Once again, the sculpting these hands are very nice. Comes with two standard pair of pegs for wrist or foot. Two of these in the plastic bag. Comes with a... If you got the special exclusive edition of Superman from Sideshow Collectibles. Comes with this rock of kryptonite and no spoiler on the movie but kryptonite is a, a key part of the movie he, he comes with this kryptonite let me see if i can turn it on for you guys real quick there we go i don't know if the camera's catching that it runs on two three batteries i only put two in and it's working and i gotta tell you something those little round batteries that go here are a mother to get inside of here it took me about 25 30 minutes to get these batteries inside of here with small tweezers and a lot of patience. But once you get them in and you light it up, it looks very cool like that. The inside of the rock. If you have the right lighting in, in your collection space, this will look really fantastic. And even if you don't, when you turn it off, it still gets the message across because the green is so crystallized that it's different colors of green. It's dark green on the outside and a little pieces of light green flowing through it. So you still get the the indication that it's kryptonite and that it has a uh, multi-layered surface. That's very good like that. Comes also with a cool stand. Check out this stand. This stand is a screw-in stand like that. You just screw it in the back of the base like that. And it's a flexible stand. 
So you can bend it, move it, get them in flying poses, jumping poses, leaping poses, falling poses. And you just clip it on uh, to where you want him. Just clip it on real easy like this. Actually, you put it inside there like that. And then hold him like that. And then you just open that, put his waist in, and you got it. But the feature of the stand that I wanted to show you is really, really nice on this base. Because on the base it says... Batman v Superman, Superman he has a nice textured, rough textured, uh, almost like granite type, concrete type feel to it. So it gives it nice, nice surface. But it also flips up like this. You just pull it up and it flips up like that. So when you sit it down in your, in your collection, it'll flip up like that. And the stand will be up here like this. And that's very cool. And I think Wonder Woman and Batman also have the same feature on their stands. It flips up. But that's a nice thing. It's not lit in here. This isn't lit. But the way they painted it with a kind of day glowish lava motif inside there it looks very nice. And it almost looks day glowish. So it shows up. But this doesn't, this base doesn't light up at all. It has no light up features or anything like that. It just looks kind of like on camera, it might look like it lights up. But it doesn't. But it's still a nice, a nice touch. Very nice touch. Let's take a look at the articulation. Oh, we also have this. We have the sheet. Tells you how to put the stand together. Tells you not to move your Superman suit around too much because very fragile the suit material is. Also tells you about moving Superman's head up and down to move tilt his head up first before you move it right or left. Otherwise, paint rub might happen around the neck area. And then it shows you how to put those very difficult batteries inside uh, the kryptonite. And that's the extent of the directions. So now, let's take a look at the articulation on Superman. Now we get into some of the meat and potatoes of this show. We're going to take a look at the articulation on Superman. First off, off the bat, i got to say real quickly before we get into that other part... This Superman is fantastic. The boys at Hot Toys really did a fantastic job on this Henry Cavill rendition of Superman as we see him in Batman v Superman the movie. Uh, but we'll get into that in a moment. I just had to put that out there. Let's take a look at the, the artic articulation. Very slight articulation on this. And again, I can't express enough, guys. This suit is super sensitive. It feels super fine. It feels very like if you move it too much... If you got rough nails, if you got rough equipment that you're working with or utensils around it, it looks like you can snag it, tear it, rip it very easily. So please be very careful with your, with your figure. The neck doesn't go up that much. It'll give you about that much height, give you about this much depth, go down about that much. Left 360. A little bit of a cock that way, a little bit of a cock that way. Shoulder will go up about this much. Now, once again, the suit, restricted by that tightness of the suit, but it goes up about that much for shoulders, delts. Arm rotation goes up. It could go all the way around, but you wouldn't dare do it in this suit. You would totally rip the suit up if you try to do overall around rotation. You can see the suit pulling. Each time I move it in an extreme pose, which means bending the arm all the way back or forward, the suit bends. So you got to be very careful with this particular suit. I think this suit is even more fragile than the, the first Man of Steel suit that Hot Toys did a few years ago for the Henry Cavill Man of Steel movie. Uh, it goes back about that much. Once again, you see the crinkle of the suit. There is bicep rotation. Once again, see that crinkle of the suit. Be careful. Get nice elbow rotation like that. Not double jointed, but just a nice up and down stop right at the bicep, right and left. Wrist rotation come down about that much, like a Spider-Man pose. Look at that. And then it goes about that much. Full rotation of the wrist, right and left, same thing. You do have an ab crunch in there. It's not deep goes down about that much but when you bend them at the legs they'll take it down even further but the ab crunch only goes down about that much raises up only about this much so if you want to get a flying pose this is about as high as you're going to get him right there 
unless you arch his hips like that, then you can get a flying pose. Doesn't that look badass? That looks just great. Doesn't that look fantastic? Really nice. Love it. Once again, be careful. You see, every time I move this suit, it crinkles, right? Where you move it. Very sensitive suit. Uh, you get rotation in the waist. Inhibited by the suit. Once again, the suit is tight around his body. But you do get full rotation of the waist. Get a nice leg raise. About that much. Goes back about that much. Again, inhibited by the suit. Be careful. Knees. Double jointed knees. Nice. Get all the way bended like that. Right when he gets ready to get beat up by Batman. Ah, beat him up. Nice uh, double double bend like that in the knees. The feet do not move down uh, harshly. So in other words, when you want to get him in a flying pose, do not bend him all the way back in his feet. Because I see that, his feet snaps right off. I just did that. I put it back on early. It goes back on. But it snaps right off like that. So you cannot put him in an extreme flying pose where you think his feet would bend straight out over his ankles. It doesn't happen. But you do get rotation of the ankles like that. Nice knee bends. And he stands very well on his own. Look at that. So now, let's take an overall look at this figure. So, and once again, I got to say, no matter what you thought of this movie, Batman v Superman, because it's been out a while now so as the time of this shooting. It's been out about three months. It's been a very controversial movie. Some people hated it. Some people loved it. But no matter what side of the fence you come out on that movie, one thing you cannot deny is that these figures from Hot Toys look fantastic. Hot Toys did a great job on this. Let's take an overall look at this uh, Henry Cavill Superman figure. We see here that he really looks fantastic. See the S emblem, S emblem on his chest is in a great position, very screen accurate. Unlike um, the S symbol that was on the Man of Steel from the uh, first Man of Steel movie with Henry Cavill, the emblem was a little uh, not proportioned right with the way it looked in the movie. This is corrected. This is proportioned right as it was in the movie. It's a different style as it's not the same S. In fact, none of the features on here are the same of the other Henry Cavill Superman from the Man of Steel Hot Toys figure. So you guys that are holding off saying, ah, it's the same body sculpt, I'm the same Superman, I already got a Henry Cavill figure. Not so. They use a muscular, more muscular figure on uh, Buck on this figure than they did on the Man of Steel figure. And let me tell you guys, there's no fat suit padding in here at all. This is all a, a hard figure, abdominal, molded in the actual sculpt of the body, of the buck of the figure, hard uh, deltoids, chest, everything else. There's no fat suit under the legs. This is hard, muscular legs. This is a new sculpt body that Hot Toys developed, I think, just for this Man of Steel figure because Henry Cavill appeared even bulkier and more buff in Batman v Superman than he did in Man of Steel. And they really went to task and kudos to Hot Toys for making a brand new buck to match that physique. Because look at those deltoids on this. Fantastic. And, and this suit is so paper thin yet looks sturdy that the actual muscle groups just show right through this, this uniform. I love it. Once again, these, these styrations that you see in this uniform, the muscle bulkings, there's no fat suit. It's no sculpting into the actual costume to make it look muscular or defined. It's actually the muscles of the figure coming through the design of this particular material. And it looks fantastic. Look at the thighs and the legs. Return to the sides. We see the new piping that they used in Man of Steel, which is that royal blue going, kind of like a metallic blue, going through the, the gauntlets on his arms, the girdle side of his waist that has that also metallic blue coming down to the side, dripping into his boots. Also a new boot, boot sculpt. The boots look totally different than the Man of Steel from a few years ago figure. This is a totally different figure than that first figure. We see uh, also that it's a different color blue. It's a deeper blue 
uh, kind of like a royal blue that's on this blue versus that brighter blue that was on the original Man of Steel a few years ago. We see a totally different head sculpt for Henry Cavill with the new shorter, uh, almost wetter looking haircut that he used in Batman v Superman. A more grim, determined face on this Henry Cavill. Total different head sculpt than the original Henry Cavill. I got to turn around, I got to tell you, this cape is fantastic. Look at that cape. It just drapes phenomenally well. It's a two-ply cape. means it has two pieces to it. It's front and back, so you can move it around. You can feel it move in your hand, the back and the front of it, when you rub it between your fingers. So it's two-ply, almost like Thor's cape. They didn't have to do that. Yeah, mixed thoughts on it, but it looks great. Whatever you think about how they could have done it, single-ply, whatever, it looks fantastic. Look at that wonderful drape on that cape. I rhymed. That should be a wrapper. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. And the cape has no wiring in it at all. But also, tip for you guys who customize your figures, if you want a, a nice thin wire, like the wires that you can get at a florist, those real thin wires that they use to wire bouquets and stuff like that, you can run it right through the tail end of this on the bottom. Put incision here, run it through, and it fits perfectly. You can have a little bit of articulation in your cape. But this cape comes stock with no wire in it at all, which is fine. If there's one thing I would have said that Hot Toys could have added on as an accessory is another head sculpt, and it would have been the head sculpt of a more angrier face uh, with the heat vision on the eyes, because, spoiler alert, this, the heat vision weaponry on Superman was something he utilized a lot during the course of the Batman v Superman movie. And it's also a battle movie. He's fighting Batman and he's fighting other things in that movie. So a nice little kind of like action grimace face or teeth bared and heat vision getting ready to be used or just finished used would have been a nice additional head sculpt on the Superman coming from that movie because it was utilized a lot. But that was, that's would be my only nitpick about that. Otherwise, great figure. Well, there we go, guys. I hope you like our look at the Man of Steel, Superman from the hit movie, Batman v Superman. I got to tell you, in hand, this guy really looks fantastic. I am over the moon by the fact that Hot Toys took the time and the effort to make a new buck, a new body mold for this guy. And the body looks fantastic because the Superman looks like the way I always like Superman, buff, built, and ready for action. This guy's deltoids, arms, legs, thighs, muscles, muscles really protrude correctly through this uniform and look fantastic on them. And the Henry Cavill sculpt is really great. Yes, I do wish they would have put out, added an accessory of a angrier fighting mode, Henry Cavill in the mode of his heat vision, but that's okay. This is really nice. It'll look great in your collection. This figure will run you about $240, give or take uh, what your neck of the neighborhood is, but it'll run you from Sideshow $240. If you get this exclusive, It'll come with that piece of kryptonite. Regular doesn't come with that. This is the first line in the Batman v Superman movie. I think Batman is coming out next, then Wonder Woman, and then the armored Batman that we saw uh, when they do battle. Uh, this guy's really fantastic. You can't go wrong. Should you get him? I tell you, if you guys are a Superman buff, I'm preaching to the choir because I know you guys already got your pre-orders in and you probably got them. But if you just like Superman casually and you already have the Man of Steel Superman, I would urge you to get this Superman because it's a special body mode mold and because the way he really looks, it's even a better face sculpt than the previous Henry Cavill. I would say that you would be remiss not to get this guy. This guy is fantastic. So there you go, guys. Get him. He looks great. You will not regret it. And look us up on Pinterest. Look us up on Facebook because we have things going on there that you won't find on the regular Gifted Monkey YouTube channel. And thank you guys. If you like it, hit below and hit that like button. Thank you so much for that. And we're going for 2,000 subscribers and we're moving quickly. So please subscribe. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your subscription and your time for viewing our show and liking our show. And check us out. And remember, collecting toys, even a 1-6 scale. Henry Cavill, Man of Steel Superman from the blockbuster movie, Batman v Superman by Hot Toys. Could be as fun as a barrel of monkeys, but respect the monkey. Play nice. Take care, guys.